Hi guys, it is morning. Uh, let me pop over here. Um, things have changed. Kitty. Change is inevitable in life. No matter how stagnant you think you are. Even if you try not to change, you're changing and the situation is changing. Now I've said before that consistency is key and I was putting out a video a day with the intention to continue to do that. Um, regularly doing yoga and establishing other healthy routines in my life. Because the road to success, to contentment and to fulfillment in your life is an actionable activity. It is where you invest your time, your energy, your money, what you do repeatedly, day after day after day, these baby steps will get to an end. So consistency is key. However, change is guaranteed. Everything around you changes you change. It's normal and it's actually wonderful because variety is the spice of life and just like with a workout routine, if you reach a plateau, you have to adapt. It's an opportunity, I really need to charge my battery, <laughs> opportunity to learn and grow. And I started this channel because my life was not where I wanted it to be. Um, I was not where I wanted to be. And I found some things in my life that worked for me. And I began to feel the magic again and to make progress again and to feel agency and power in my life again. And another value that I hold dear is to help. And when something helped me to find joy and fulfillment and to make progress I couldn't not share those things with you. And I am the least tech-savvy person in the world. Well, that's probably an overstatement and an I am statement. You're not supposed to do those. Um, but I don't have very much technical skill. Um, I chose YouTube because the computer is right here. And one of the ways that a person feels fulfilled is through giving back everyone. Even if that's not your priority, trust me, give back. The more you give, the more you get. Um, and through learning, there was an opportunity for me to learn a new skill while giving back while still being where I was um, where I am but I'm farther along um, it didn't require a lot of me to learn the 
bare minimum basics of YouTube and how to do this and how to share with you um, things that have worked for me in hopes that maybe they will work for someone else. Oh. It's like the blue screen at the news. Note to self, don't wear black. And a black chair with black pants. It's, I'm in my pajamas, so, you know. You guys know I look okay some of the time, the rest of the time I'm like, mm, whatever. Um, realism. Uh, but it is kind of weird. It's like floaty hands. Okay, sidetracked, Ramble Girl. Um, basically, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be. It's been a while. Um, basically, consistency is a key in life. If you want to incorporate things that are going to get you to a place where you are happy, if there's something missing from your life, if there's something you want to add to your life, if there's something you'd like to change about your life, you have the power to do that. You have to identify it and take a step. Little baby steps are fine, but take a step. And then continue to take steps in that direction. Every time you choose a thing and you take a step, You're getting somewhere and you're also saying no to what else could be filling your time. Sitting around watching TV, um, for instance. Things that aren't getting you anywhere and a year or two from now, you will look back and have the same issues. Life does not bend around our will. Life is still going to happen. But life is in our control to a point. If you get in your car, what other drivers are doing, what's happening on the roads, the weather, those things, they just are. Reality just is. How you drive, where you head, what you do once you get in that car and you hit the ignition, you are in the driver's seat. How you respond, how you react, and where you head every day is where you're going to go. Consistency is key, but situations change. All of my technology was not keeping up and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. It's not an issue with YouTube changing. My Wi-Fi, my cameras, everything was breaking and like I said, I don't have much technical skill at all. Um, I'm like the last person that should be doing this in a way, but in a way that kind of makes me the first because you're legitimately following growth with me, even as the channel develops. Flexibility. <laughs> Consistency may be key, but flexibility is a hand that continues to turn the key when life doesn't go your way. You know what? Life is guaranteed not to go your way because it doesn't bend to your will. When you hit an obstacle, when you hit a traffic jam, when the weather is poor on the road, what do you do? Do you get frustrated? Do you walk away? Do you continue to pound your head into a wall because you said initially that you were going to do a certain thing a certain way and your outdated ideas and concepts no longer fit the reality of the situation and so you are stuck. You are just as stuck as before you ever started because you're making no progress because the current things you are doing no longer work. And they're not going to work no matter how much you want them to. You can get there another way. 
There are many roads a person can travel to get to the same destination in life. And when you hit a plateau, a roadblock, a situation where circumstances will not allow you to continue to do those things in the way that you are doing them, an injury in your fitness routine, anything, anything, the people who continue in the general direction they wish to go, make adjustments, not excuses. They're willing to say, hey, it's not working out the way I intended it to work out. They're willing to take a step out of their set intentions, their, their high, tightly held ideas and goals and directions and way of thinking and admit that maybe some things need some adjustment, need some change. What worked before is no longer working. I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to adjust what I'm doing. I'm going to change my thinking. I'm going to allow growth <laughs> and admit that it's not working the way that they, they're, they're willing to admit that the old way is not working and they need new ideas. They're willing to admit that to themselves and to others to embrace new ideas. They're willing to adjust the travel to fit the situation, to find other things to plug into those goal-directed behaviors, those steps, those roads. They're willing to take a detour to get to the next end. If you are inflexible, no matter how much you try to do a thing, sooner or later, it's not gonna work. The same things will not get you results. You can still do the same type of things. Healthy things, giving things, goal pursuit things, intellectual things. But you're going to have to adjust. You have to be adaptable. And when you reach those places that it's not working, think back to the original reason why you started. I started this with no technical skill, no experience as an opportunity to learn a new skill, the technical side of this. And at the same time, give back to anyone that happens to stumble here. The real time things that were and are helping me to be happy and fulfilled. Sticking to a regimen of a video a day on a busted equipment, the way that I was doing, just because I said I was going to, who am I really? I have all the power in my life. I don't know anything. If you think you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. If you think you have nothing to learn, you learn nothing. I got um, professional editing software way above my head. Not even basic, professional editing software. And um, a camera. I am at the place of figuring out how to import the footage onto the software and reading the instruction manuals. I've got a long way to go in learning, but 
the situation did not dictate me to continue to bang my head into a wall. That's, that's not the right approach. Consistency is key. Adaptability is guaranteed to be required because change is guaranteed. And when you hit those plateaus, those roadblocks, those situations where it is not technically feasible, really for me, technologically feasible, to carry on the way that you were, then you see it as an opportunity to grow again, to go again, to go back to the roots of why you started. I am excited. I'm excited to have an opportunity to learn and grow and expand again. Um, and like I said, I'm not a person with much technical knowledge, so it's going to take me a while. I don't know what it'll do to the channel. Um, I don't know how frequently I'll post. I'm transitioning between laptops. Um, and this is all foreign to me. Um, so it'll be a while before you see anything come from the professional software. I'm quite sure it will be this type of thing periodically. Um, and whatever random thoughts cross my mind again for a while. Um, but I'm willing... And legitimately actually excited to garner the same benefits from this that I got initially to learn a new skill, to feel like I have the power to educate myself, to grow myself. And in so doing, maintain authenticity and honesty and not put some idealistic stuff out there. Because I think I have to when that idealistic stuff is very legitimate. It's still accurate. But it's not where I am right now. I would like the channel to remain true to form, true to time, uh, so that the I'm I'm nobody. I'm nobody any more than you all are nobody. Famous people are nobody, they're just people. I'm just some person. There's nothing grand or special or important about me that says I need to be on YouTube and I have some awesome message to share to you. All of us, every single person is unique and incredible this mind, the possibility of their life, it's just astounding when you think about it. Individual and special as little snowflakes, not not the Trumpy snowflakes, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so what am I really getting across through my channel? people can take away and carry with them. It's not really what I say. It's how well I end up, how well I end up achieving the aims of solidity stability, general happiness, personal growth, positivity, all those things that I discuss in my life. 
over time as you guys watch this how how I get there if I get there watching me do it seeing somebody do a thing lets you know hey I, I can do that thing if, if she could do that thing whether it's KonMari decluttering or any of this hyped up stuff that people do and people talk about it's thinking about a thing in a way that you hadn't thought about it because all of you have completely different situations, completely different minds, and that's what's fascinating about humanity. Um, and so maybe something might cross your mind in a way you never thought about. But more so, it's witnessing the progress. And if you're in a place that is difficult, if you are not at a place in your life that you want to be, if there's things about yourself you'd like to be different, you have the power. Like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. You've had the power all along. You just have to take action. About to die my battery. Um, you just have to take action and continue to take those actions. And when those actions are no longer producing or situations change, don't worry, get excited. Get excited because you've passed one of those stair ladders and you've plateaued. That means you're ready to move up a rung and find a way, adapt, learn. Learning is a joy learn and grow and go again um, so I am in the process of techno learning uh, it's gonna require a lot of learning on my part this video is long I don't know if you watch it and I don't know if I said everything I wanted to say but I, I wanted to say it before I end up posting more randomness um, I plateaued and I'm happy for it my technology plateaued and I'm happy for it because I can continue the consistency of the things that were progressing me forward with new things in new ways. It means that I get a chance to grow again. So when you feel stuck when things don't work out your way or the way that you intended, be able to adapt. Practice adaptability because that allows you to take the detour. And in the detour, you may find a place that you never thought you were capable of going. Love you guys. Good morning. Goodbye, YouTube. I don't know why I started doing that. Oh, well, I don't know why I do half the things I do. That's why I'm learning about myself. So I can be um, directed chaos instead of just chaos. Bye, you guys. Have a good day.